Lafouche Parish Coroner Dr. John King may have to reimburse the parish for money he collected to perform autopsies. The parish District Attorney's Office made the announcement following a series of Fox 8 investigations that showed King collected fees for performing autopsies on top of his salary. Here's our latest Cornering the Market investigation. I mean, you're talking about a public official allegedly using his office for his own personal enrichment. The Lafouche Parish District Attorney's Office won't file criminal charges against Dr. John King, who's accused of performing unnecessary autopsies in order to pad his paycheck. After reviewing a state police investigation into the allegations, District Attorney Christine Russell said her office found no evidence of public corruption or fraud, but said the office's inquiry into fees King collected isn't over. The state police investigation into King centered around money he paid himself for performing autopsies, money the parish council didn't approve. Lafouche Parish law essentially says this coroner cannot get paid per autopsy. Right. Lafouche Parish opted for a salary method of payment for their coroner. Our investigation showed King charged up to $500 an autopsy. In 2022, those autopsies earned him an additional $54,000. Sources within King's office claim he essentially had a quota and wanted to perform at least 10 autopsies each month in order to increase his take-home pay. A law enforcement source gave Fox 8 one death investigation report that shows King decided to perform an autopsy on a 57-year-old man who had cirrhosis of the liver, hep C, and hypertension. In that report, it's noted after speaking to Dr. King, he stated that he wants to autopsy the decedent to meet his 10 bodies a month. According to some of the allegations that we received, some of the autopsies that were performed were unnecessary, allegedly unnecessary, because some of the autopsies were performed on people whose treating physicians called their method of death natural causes. Another doctor who performed autopsies in Lafouche Parish says King fired him shortly after Hurricane Ida so King could perform autopsies himself. So were you fired? Uh, I would like to say it was fired because I was never called and I was never assigned any further autopsies after Ida. So you were fired? I was fired, yes. So you wanted to continue doing autopsies there? Well, I had no interest in stopping. You know, I was, I was, you know, I still consider myself young and active and, you know, I wanted to continue doing autopsies there. So you, want, you wanted to continue? Yes. State Police Lieutenant Craig Rhodes began investigating the allegations against King in December of last year. Fox 8 obtained incident reports that show Parish President Archie Chasson contacted state police, saying he was concerned that King may be performing unnecessary autopsies and charging parish government extra fees for personal gain. Between last December and late April, Rhodes investigated the claims and interviewed current and former employees. Rhodes interviewed Dr. King on April 24th, noting that King insisted on answering questions, despite saying his attorney told him not to do an interview. Rhodes's notes show King denied having a quota, but admitted to making a comment about having a 10-body quota in July of 2021. King said that comment was in relation to the high number of autopsies he was performing, which he called ridiculous. He blamed the increase in deaths on Hurricane Ida, COVID, and fentanyl overdoses. The state police report says King told Rhodes he decided to perform autopsies himself in August of 2021 because he was having trouble getting in touch with the two doctors who performed autopsies from his office before the storm. King claimed he spoke to Dr. Jack Heinrich about the decision, but said he couldn't get in touch with Dr. Walker, who he called notorious for not answering his phone. Again, Walker told Fox 8 King fired him and believes King started doing autopsies himself to earn extra money. I think he's doing it to subsidize his, his income. His income? His income, that's correct. King is the longtime coroner in Lafouche and for his first 10 years in office collected only a salary, $50,000 a year. Records show he didn't start charging for autopsies until the fall of 2021, shortly after King's attorney says the coroner resigned from his second job at Auctioner. 
Still, King told Rhodes he believed the allegations surrounding the charges stemmed from a toxic employee in his office, as well as a disagreement he had years ago with Paris President Archie Chasson when he claimed he and Chasson almost got into a physical fight during a meeting with the prior Paris President Charlotte Randolph. Rhodes wrote as the interview ended, King asked rhetorically, if I wasn't able to do this, then why in the freaking hell did they pay me? And went on to say, find me criminally and I'm quitting or just let me go. Rhodes submitted his investigation to Lafouche Parish District Attorney's Office for review. DA Christine Russell said in a statement released late last month that there wasn't enough evidence to support allegations that King performed unnecessary autopsies. However, Russell said the decision not to file criminal charges in connection with the case doesn't end the office's inquiry and that the office is exploring ways for the parish to get reimbursed for any autopsy fees that may have been paid in error. We reached out to King for comment on the DA's findings, but did not hear back. King failed to qualify for another term in office. Sources tell Fox 80 showed up after the deadline last month, only to find he was locked out of the building. Caleb Bro, the only candidate to qualify, is set to become Lafouche's next coroner.